Well, hello again. It's Brother Peter with Tidbits from the Word. So proud to be with you this morning. And I'm going to read uh, in the a book of Proverbs, chapter 11 this morning. And that's going to be our daily reading for the day here in chapter 11. It says, A false balance is an abomination to the Lord, but a just weight is his delight. Can we understand it? Yes, we can. Find your Bible, a King James Version, preferably. Open it up on a daily basis, some time during the day, and read a proverb for that day. When pride cometh, then cometh shame, but with the lowly is wisdom. Pride, the enemy of God. Pride was the enemy of God. Pride was the enemy of man. Pride was the enemy of the devil that caused him to be where he is because he allowed his enemy to overtake him, which pride overtook him. And he said, I will lift up my throne to the throne of God. And God said, no, you won't. And he got cast out of heaven. He got cast out of his place because of pride. And then he got prideful again. And he went around and he made himself some converts in heaven. Some, and those angels that he made converts followed him. And when they did, they got cast out of heaven also. Pride is a wicked thing. So watch for it. The iniquity of the upright the integrity, excuse me, the integrity of the upright shall guide them, but the perverseness of the transgressors shall destroy them. Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness deliver from death. The righteousness, the perfect, shall direct his ways but the wicked shall fall by his own wickedness. The righteousness of the upright shall deliver them, but transgressors shall be taken in their own naughtiness. When a wicked man uh, dieth, his expectations shall perish, and the hope of an unjust man perish. The righteous is delivered out of the trouble, and the wicked cometh to his stead and hypocrite with his mouth destroyeth his neighbor but the knowledge shall be just to be delivered when it goeth well with the righteous the city rejoices and when the wicked perish there is a sh uh, shouting. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, he's saying here that some people are so wicked that when they die, people around them shout for joy. And that's terrible, but it's true. And uh, it said, by the blessing of the upright, the city is exalted. By the blessing of the upright, the city is exalted. But it overthrow it by the mouth of the wicked. He that uh, hateth wisdom is void of understanding. But a man of understanding holdeth his peace. Do you have the same problem I have? You know, just about every one of us that ever lived has got the same problem. We run off at the mouth when we ought to be being pleasant. Uh, somebody comes at us unpleasant. I tell you what I try to do. I, I try, which is the opposite of my flesh. I'm going to tell you the truth. The opposite of my flesh is to walk up in the little town I live in and pay me utility bill. And do I feel like it's incorrect? Yes. Do I feel like they're doing some things right now that 
is exacting money out of the townspeople? Yes. Well, the little old girl is up there collecting the money. What does she have to do with that? She just works for the head man. It's the head man that's doing the exacting. And it's the head man that's going to receive the, uh, the final end and the final judgment for the way he does. Not that little old girl. So don't take it out on her. Be pleasant. When you go up there, be pleasant. Be pleasant. And go up there pleasantly. And be nice. Carry a little tract with you. Are you a Christian yourself? If you are, carry a little tract with you that says, If you died right now, do you know that you'd go to heaven? <laughs> if you know that if you died right now, you'd go to heaven, it, it, wouldn't it behoove you to be decent? through the day to be nice wouldn't it be nice for you to get up in the morning and say you know my habit is I run by McDonald's and pick me up a cup of coffee or Burger King or somewhere and or a restaurant and the little old waitress she had to get up at four o'clock this morning get her little old car cranked and, and uh, run it and uh, put the kids off to the school bus or make arrangements or whatever or do the home chores and, and then she flew on down to a little old place where they pay her six fifty seven dollars an hour and uh, uh, she goes in there and everybody's in a hubbub and <clears throat> it's a rush and rough and <clears throat> she's not having a very good day already to start with and then you come in and you gripe and grumble and complain and uh, you're ugly. And if somebody said, uh, and she doesn't know you from Adam, somebody said, you think that last customer you just had is a good fellow, somebody going to heaven? <laughs> Most of them girls would tell you, no, I think that one's going straight to hell. You say, why would you say that about him? He's just a customer in the car came through here. She said, yeah, but did you hear him? Did you hear his demeanor? Did you hear how he is? Did you hear? He, here he comes every morning, a gripe and a complaint. I want this and I want that. And I want my biscuit with no, no mustard. And uh, I don't want a pickle on my hamburger. And I don't want this and I don't want that. And why don't he just get the thing? and take the pickle off and chunk it <laughs> instead of trying to order it without a pickle when everybody else has got a pickle on it. But anyway, so what kind of person are you? Are you a person that glad to see? I try to take, I ask the Lord, Lord, I'm a poor man, but I say, Lord, I'm going to drink water with this meal and that water won't cost me anything or I'm gonna <clears throat> already have my coffee made. I can take one of those cups from the day before or one time that I bought one during the week and I can take it in the house with me at night and I can fill it with coffee and uh, I can have it in the car or fill a little one cup, two cup thermos. Take it with me, it doesn't cost me but about two or three cents for that cup of coffee and I can take it with me if I want coffee with my breakfast and I can pour myself a little cup in the truck and I can take my dollar bill and put it in this little track. And after you get your meal, hand it to that girl and say, have a good day. And pull out of there and go down the road. And you can feel good about that. You can feel excellent about it. Because that little girl is having a hard time. Everybody that works in them restaurants has a hard time. It's hard life with very small pay. I would hate to be the, the think about the judgment that's going to come uh, in Judgment Day for those people who own businesses who treat their employees terrible, and at the end of the year they have great swelling revenues. They brag about how many millions of billions of meals they sold and how many millions of dollars they made. Yeah, they may do some outside giving, 
they may give to some outside places where the government will give them a break.